The Galaxy S24 series is approaching fast, and I mean fast we might see the official announcement as early as January of 2024. Samsung's response to Apple is this. The performance of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, which is solely powering the S24 Ultra, is becoming better and better with each leak. There has never been a bigger discrepancy between Apple and Samsung's flagship phone's GPU performance. According to the latest news, the 8 Gen 3's GPU is said to be a lot faster than the GPU on the S17 Pro, with the overall chip being 30% power efficient. That is completely absurd, because the S7 Pro's power efficiency simply cannot maintain its peak performance level for an extended period, even though it is a fast chip. Something Qualcomm might be able to accomplish while also just outpacing the S17 Pro in speed. History is repeating itself, the S23 Ultra GPU was faster by about 10 to 15% compared to the GPU inside the iPhone 14 Pro. And now the S24 Ultra's GPU is set to double that number potentially up to 30% faster than the S7 Pro according to these latest leaks. With all of this gaming prowess, Samsung is following Apple's lead. According to reports, Samsung will work with big game companies all around the world, including Epic Games, the developer of Fortnite, and other popular video games. Fingers crossed hopefully we could see some console games come into the S24 Ultra in the future, as well since 8 Gen 3 will be on other Android phones potentially, this could come for other Android devices as well. Samsung is getting rid of the 10x optical lens and swapping it with a 5x lens. At first glance, it might seem like a downgrade, but hold on, there's more to this story. According to the most recent information, this update may actually improve your overall video recording experience. With this modification, seamless video recording will be possible across all cameras, even in 4K 60 apps mode. Let's dissect it a little. Owning a Samsung high-end smartphone currently prevents you from switching between the ultra-wide, wide, and telephoto cameras while recording 4K films at 60 frames per second. However, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is expected to change that, possibly due to an improved processor and ASP, as well as a more capable telephoto camera. Apple recently introduced seamless 4K 60 apps video recording with the release of the iPhone 15 Pro series and Samsung might be following suit. The shift from a 10x to a 5x telephoto camera may seem like a downgrade, but given Samsung's rumored use of a larger and higher resolution sensor, we could still expect 10x optical quality, and more importantly, improved photo and video quality in low-light conditions. Not only that, but the transition between cameras while recording is likely to be smoother than ever. Now, here's some interesting information. Remember when Google unveiled the Pixel 8 and that cool AI feature called Google Assistant with Bard? We were all wondering if Google would keep it locked down to Pixel phones or share the love with other brands. It appears that we have some answers now. So the plan, as it seems, is to launch it first on Pixel devices in the next couple of months before heading over to the Galaxy S24 early next year, followed by the Galaxy S23 series. Other OEM could get the feature later next year. In case you don't know, Bard is a generative AI tool, just like ChatGPT, that makes Google Assistant a whole lot smarter than it already is. Let me know what you think about the Google Assistant in the comments below, that's all the last news. Subscribe if you are new here. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.